Good morning and welcome back to our devotion. Today we are in the book of Esther. Uh, Pastor Bugler uh, told us about the story of Esther in his sermon on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to dive deeper into uh, something specific from our reading for today. Our reading for today is chapters 1 through 4. And uh, in chapter 4, it talks about something that is a very well and beloved Lutheran tradition, fasting. I'm just kidding. It's not a very well uh, observed tradition in the Lutheran church, uh, but it should it be. Fasting is something that uh, even Jesus did. Jesus started his ministry by fasting in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. And here we see uh, in, in the book of Esther, Esther calls all the Jewish people to fast. And she herself fasts. And in, day th- in, in her three days of fasting, that's when she makes the decision that she makes. And so obviously uh, I, I joke about fasting being something that we do in the Lutheran church, but I would contend that it's something that we should do. Not because Esther does it, I would say probably because Jesus does it, that's maybe a good thing to follow. But what is fasting? What, what goal does it try to accomplish? Well, fasting, simply put, I mean, if you've had to have a medical procedure, you've probably had to do it before. Uh, fasting is going a period without drinking and, or without eating and sometimes without drinking. Although if you're doing a longer fast, then uh, you know, drinking water or some kind of drink is encouraged. But when you don't eat, obviously you get hungry. When you get hungry, you get weak. And you depend, in this case, you depend on the Word of God. You know, a lot of times uh, when fasting is talked about in the Bible, it's fasting and prayer, or fasting and meditating on God's Word. You know, getting back to when Jesus was fasting in the desert, Satan comes to him and he's like, Boy, Jesus, I bet you're pretty hungry. You see these rocks here? I could turn them into bread with just a word. And what does Jesus say? Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word of God. And so this highlights how uh, you know, we don't just rely on food, or when we take food out of the equation especially, we rely on God's word. We are in prayer and studying scripture. And it creates a kind of dependency that we normally don't experience. You know, we normally, in, on a normal day, we are well fed. We're, you know, when we get hungry, we eat. That's kind of just how it works. But when we fast, you need to rely on something other than food. Go into God's word. And when you are so dependent on God's word, kind of, it's a little bit different in how you think. And a lot of times, just like we see with Esther, uses this time of fasting to rely solely on God to make important decisions. Now, there's a lot, lot more that could be said about fasting. I've heard, a, I've heard sermons on fasting. I'm not trying to tackle the whole topic of fasting. But fasting is something that uh, we should be thinking about more because I don't think we think about it much. But, you know, when you fast, it's important to rely on God's word. And as Jesus says in the New Testament, don't twist your face to make people know that you're fasting. You know, dress yourself, act normal. But it's an inward uh, dependence upon God, his word, and being in prayer with God. And it is something that uh, Esther was very wise to do. And Jesus was wise to do, and it would be wise for us to do too, to be solely dependent on God's word and dependent upon communication with God in prayer. So something to chew on for uh, today as we go through Esther, and maybe something for you to, to consider doing. May God bless your day and bless your thought process if that's something you're thinking about.